Willis Reed was a Louisiana native turned NBA star. His career started when the New York Knicks picked Reed during the 1964 NBA draft. As a rookie, he scored 46 points against the Los Angeles Lakers, which was the second highest single game total for a Knicks newbie. Reed's trajectory continued to trend upward, eventually landing him two championships between 1969 and 1971. Reed died from heart failure on March 21st, and LPB is combing through our archives to honor his memory. He's a very honorable person. He is proud of where he's from. He always tells everyone he's not just from Louisiana, but he's from Bernice, Louisiana which caused another conversation, and um, loyal, very loyal. And those are, the, those are the characteristics that I've loved about him from the day I met him. Willis Reed was born 14 miles south of the Arkansas border in Heiko, Louisiana, just down the road from Bernice, where his legendary skills as a basketball player were honed. He's always been uh, that kind of guy that uh, uh, pushed himself to be better. As a freshman at Grambling, he led his team to its first NAIA National Basketball Championship and was twice named All-American. I think uh, he is one of the top athletes that come out of Grambling. After scoring an amazing 2,280 college career points, Willis headed to the NBA's New York Knicks. 1965 was the start of an incredible decade of superior athleticism and awards, which included two NBA championships, induction into the Basketball Hall of Fame in 1982, and recognition as one of the 50 greatest players in NBA history. But none of his athletic accomplishments would ever outshine his performance as captain of the New York Knicks in the final NBA championship game against the Los Angeles Lakers. Slows it down, is picked up by Jerry West at the top of the post. Reed scores! Willis Reed scores the first bucket here. Try Willis Reed. And Reed now is outside. There's his second shot. He is two for two. Willis Reed. And everyone was wondering if he was going to play. Uh, many players would uh, say that, well, I'm true, I, I'm not going to play. He said that he had to go because he would not want to sit back and talk to his grandkids about what if I, you know, didn't play. They're playing hurt. I, I looked at him when he played. I said, shoot, I'm not going to miss a game. He didn't. He can barely walk back out there. I forgot how I many he scored, but. <laughs> They wouldn't have won it without him. After a decade of playing with the Knicks, Willis moved on to coaching and then management positions, including with the New Orleans Hornets. If he never had to put another suit on, it wouldn't bother him. <laughs> if it was a hunting gear, that's a different story. Willis really loves the country life. In a time that I can't catch up with him, then I know that he's somewhere either hunting or fishing. If I could put a theme on Willis's life, it's just he's humble, he's appreciative, he never takes anything for granted. And I think those are great qualities in a person. I think he has had an influence on a lot of young people and I'm sure he's aware of that. And um, he tries to govern himself accordingly. He would reach out and help people. He was just that type, type man. I think one of the things that Willis is most proud of is um, his church in Bernice, Louisiana. He was very influential in getting that church built and uh, donated quite a bit to get it done. And I think that's probably one of his proudest moments off the court. Do the right thing. Be accountable for your own action. I think that's a theme to him. And the reason I'm saying that because I pattern, I try to pattern my life after him. He's always put his best foot forward at whatever he was trying to do and was satisfied with his results because he says that he's always done his best. And you can't ask anything more from anyone. Willis Reed, NBA superstar, living the country life in North Louisiana.